How the hell are we fitting in here? Almost like a mafia. I've woken up today in a brand new place. I know what you're all thinking. We get leather jackets, we get sunglasses, we look badass. But when two English guys meet an American guy, it can spell trouble. Oh, beautiful. Okay, the boys have got pickles. Guys, I need to pinch myself just to make sure this is real life. We have finally made it to the famous Karakol. I am so excited to be here. Assalamu alaikum, Baiki Kandaisis. We love the taxi nada. Hello, Bratan Kakdilab. It's me and Jonathan here. Now we need to go to the hostel. Taxi, taxi. Hostel? Ah, hostel, Oba. What's the name, hostel? Uh, KBH. Spasiba, Baiki. Thank you for driving. Okay. Kancha? Uh, 200. Oh, no. Yeah. 200. Good. That's too much. I don't want to be cheated. That's a Chonga Cha. 100, 100, 200. Baiki, I'm sorry. Bolshoi Dengi, 200. 150? It's 100. just two kilometers up the road. 100. 100. 100. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to scam us. Oh. Is this 100 for the whole car? Not 100 per person. <laughs> but it's still scam because he gets paid twice because he's getting paid by both people. Do you see what I mean? But it doesn't matter who cares. Guys, we're driving in style. Okay. The beautiful Lada. Oh my goodness, we are so lucky. Oh my god. How the hell are we fitting in here? No, we're not, man. Let's just get on the taxi. Yeah. We're not fitting in here. There's no way me and Jonathan are fitting in this taxi. Oh, Absolutely no way. Right, the taxi driver's trying to overcharge us. The fare price is 100 sum. They're trying to charge us a 100% premium and they are asking for 200 sum. So we have outright said, no, thank you. We know that's not fair. So now we are playing the waiting game. We are waiting until one of the taxi drivers gives in and accepts our price of 100 sum. And there's lots of taxi drivers. They all work together, almost like a mafia, in fact. They're all friends. They all set the same price and you have no choice. But well, we've come up with a clever idea. We're calling the hostel. Hopefully they will order us a taxi. Good news, we will be sleeping inside tonight rather than outside here. It's late guys, it's 12 o'clock. Me and Jonathan are both hungry, so I'm gonna have to go into the local magazine. Let's go inside. Assalamu alaikum, oh, Enim Kandaisis. Hello, AJ. Wow, salute, beautiful. Same, same, matching. Beshparmak? Jok. Okay. Ah, these are good. Katoshka, yeah, Katoshka. It's a kancha. Oh, you're looking salute. Wow. Oh, oh, chong acha. Okay. Okay, spasiba. Thank you, AJ. Thank you, thank you. Can you speak English? Little? Chuchu? No. no. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Enim. Goodbye, my friend. Menseni Soyom, I love you all. <laughs> Goodbye. We found some food and I think our taxi has just arrived. Okay, Baiki's Dobri Notch, thank you. Oh, Salamu Alaikum, Baiki. Can I this? Hosh Geldinis. Bismillah. Next stop, the hostel. So as you can see, yes, me and Jonathan are in our nice and warm taxi. And I've asked our new friend, Baiki, our awesome taxi driver, to play some Kyrgyz music, because after all, we are in Kyrgyzstan. I'm so happy right now, guys. The taxi driver is putting on some Kyrgyz music for us. Interesting vocals. Oh, just his main voice message. Oh, this is the old historic street here. Oh, wow, look at this for a road. This is bumpy. The next day, I've woken up today in a brand new place. I know what you're all thinking. And yes, I agree, these sunglasses are extra awesome. Yesterday, me and Johnny Boy took the 300 kilometer Mashrutka journey from Bishkek to the east of Kyrgyzstan to arguably the most beautiful town in the whole country called Karakol. Salamu alaikum, Baiki Kandaisis. Salamu alaikum, Enim Kandaisis. So, we're starting off the day by taking a trip to a local cafe called the Lighthouse Cafe. And according to Jonathan, this place has the best ganfan, not only in Karakol, but the whole of Kyrgyzstan. And here's the, the little pussy cat. You're just the babe. Yeah, you are. How are you? Can oh, I so The cat like you're that. You're such a cutie. Yeah, you are. Is the ganfan delicious? Yes? Yeah. 
So here we are guys, this is the Lighthouse Cafe here in Karakol. Here's the menu. Why is it called the Lighthouse Cafe? Are There's we near the... Right oh, yeah. there it is. It's even got seagulls on it. Does it have the seagull shit on it to make it even more authentic? No, it doesn't. So we've put our order in. Everybody is going for Ganfan. And then half jokingly, half seriously, I said one Pivo. And then we're all getting Pivos. And by the way, Pivo is the Russian word for beer. It's 11.04, so it's an early start for Pivo, but the sun is shining, so why not? We're on our holiday, right? I want to introduce to you our new friend from the hostel, Mr. Matthew. What's Here up, he guys? <laughs> Hello. From Caracol. Yeah, and yes, America. Yes, America. And America. Yes, 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 yes. And how's Kyrgyzstan treating you so uh, It's awesome. Yeah, you went skiing, running around, hot baths. So here we are, and this is Kyrgyz beer. The name? Dabushka, how to say? Arpa. Arpa. There we go. One for you, Jonathan. One for Matthew. And here's mine. Beautiful. Here we so, go, guys. Cheers. 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 Have a good day. Bottoms up. Ah, that's refreshing actually. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Here it comes guys, the Ganfan has finally arrived. Thank you so much, Dabushka. Essentially what the Ganfan is, is rice with some good old meat, a bit of protein and some vegetables with this delicious sauce. I have to say it's definitely one of my favorite meals here in Kyrgyzstan. Just to give you a little bit of background about this particular meal, ethnically and culturally, it originates from the Dungun people. One more thing to say, bon appetit, or as you say here in Kyrgyzstan, ash busun. Is this your first time trying this, Matthew? It's first time this okay. dish, yeah. And you're excited? Do what I'm do you very think? I'm starving. Oh, on first impressions, how does it look? Oh, it looks Looking awesome. Good? Okay, guys, I've already eaten half, but I just want to give you an honest food review on the taste and the quality. So here goes, nice bit of rice, nice bit of meat. And here we go, if I can get it on the spoon. I have to say the sauce, I would love to get the recipe from the people in the kitchen, that's a great sauce. They've been very generous with the amount of meat and the quality is very good as well, succulent. I don't know how they make this rice. When I make rice, it doesn't taste as good as this, but this is some good rice. So here we are, guys. We have arrived at one of the main landmarks here in Karakul, the famous Karakul Square. It's called a square, but I think a more fitting name for this would be a rectangle. This should be called the Karakul Rectangle because the shape is very re rectangular. And if we have a quick walk over here, there are two gentlemen, and I will have a quick interview here with Baiki. Salamu alaikum, Baiki Kandai says, Dobri Ultra, Dobri Den. What is the time? Baiki, just one second. Who is this? Kyrgyz. Kyrgyz. Karakol. Okay. Oh. okay. Okay, thank you, thank you. Chong Ahmad, thank you. Here they are. These are the two gentlemen here, standing tall and proud. And here is the Kogi's flag. They could have bought a bigger flag, that's a bit pathetic. Since I'm a big lover of all things secondhand and vintage, we have come to the local vintage shop here in Karakol. So we're just about to go inside now. Here it is, secondhand. See what we can find, hopefully something unique. A little bit jazzy. Look at that, look at that, 300 cents on that. It's amazing. All these jackets, guys, are only 300 cents. Incredible value. Yeah, Look at all these beautiful leather jackets, guys. I'm curious as to how much one of these bad boys will cost. What do you think? Uh, Let's do predictions. Jonathan, how much for one of these beautiful leather jackets? I'm gonna go with 900. 900. Matthew, what do you uh, think, man? Up or down? 700. 700. Some. I'm just gonna go 500. Let's ask. Siestra? Kancha? Ming! 1,000! Oh, that was right. Ah! Bosho dengi! Ah! So these leather jackets, guys, and you can look like the guy out of Matrix. Damn, look at them, that's swaggy. Should we all get leather jackets? That'd be cool. Okay, team meeting. We get leather jackets, we get sunglasses, we look badass. We look like pimps from the <laughs> Yeah, let's get some pimp canes. Get some shoes. Hey, Jay, Saranich, can I look at these beautiful boots? Wow! 
They're beastly. So we've just found 14. 14. Yeah, 14 UK 14. 14. Mate. Come on. I've never seen Shong. shoes that big. Kancha, AJ. Ah, uh, Ming. They're insane. If I get the leather jacket and I get them. I love to meet new people, but when two English guys meet a an American guy, it can spell trouble. And by that I mean we have found a local bar. And the reason we know it's a local bar is not because of the name, it's because of the logo. Look at that. Silly not to, one more, one more pint. Okay, we'll pop inside. Salam alaikum Davushka, Kagdila Kandaisis. Salam alaikum Baiki Kandaisis. So this is a local bar here in Karakol. Pivo. Right, we've entered the bar. This is the menu. Saranich, this one. Cheers. Okay, gentlemen, cheers. And by the way, guys, I just want to tell you how much this beer is. 65 some. Which is 50p exactly 50 in England. Pence. 50 pence. In US dollars, Matthew, how much? Can you do the conversion? Um, probably like 60, 60 cents. Yeah. 65, yeah. Can you get a pint of beer for 65 cents in uh, no, Washington, no, D.C.? No, 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 no. It's pretty good. Not bad. Look at this interior, guys. It's a wild Jonathan in his natural My habitat. Natural habitat. <laughs> Yeah, right I'm now honest. we are deep in the main bazaar. What's really fascinating about this particular bazaar is that it's made out of shipping containers. I love it, recycling, it's great. So right now we are going to inquire about the cost of a massage here. It's a kancha, AJ. Fesh ming. Ah, best juice. 500. Free massage, how much? One, two, three. Yeah. Maybe a little. Do, 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 do. <laughs> 400. We got 400 for free. Wow. Today, Jonathan is mine and Matthew's tour guide. He's showing us the Caracol Bazaar. And this is quite an environment. Look at this. You've got this beautiful piece of nature here, this beautiful natural stream from the recent rainfall. Oh, so Strong Rahmat Baiki, thank you. What I find truly amazing about this type of bazaar is just the sheer size of it. How much stuff is on sale? And the thing is, there's very few customers. I don't know how they all make a sustainable living. Whoa, they are nice. Woo! 10 out of 10 on the swagger meter. Since it gets extremely cold here in the winter time, you can get these as your soles for your shoes. And they will keep your feet nice and warm. Oh, beautiful. Here we have lots of homemade jam. AJ, Kancha, Eki juice, 200. Do you want to treat yourself? Maybe treat me. <laughs> okay, AJ, you have a deal. This little alleyway specializes in handmade socks made out of wool, which will keep your feet extremely warm. Okay, spasiba, thank you, AJ. Oh, guys, guys, come, you need to smell this one. This one is insane. Hey, come, come, come. Wow, give it a sniff. Matthew's going first. Wow. What do you think? Peppermint? What do you smell there? Some mint. That's awesome. Some like. We'll go, Jonathan. Notes. Oh, wow, nice peppermint. We'll give it. Nice. Okay, Matthew is looking for something very specific, very particular. He wants to buy a pickle. So we're going to go and ask. Chong Appa Kandaisis. Skoko Eterstoit. Let's all get pickles. Can you get me a pickle because he paid for your toilet? Yeah, get your own pickle. It's pay it forward. Damdu? Damdu? Good. Bukusna. Damdu. Bukusni. Chong apa? Kancha? Hello. Want some? Chong acha? Boy shoy dengi? Chong apa? Saranich beer pickle. Spasiba. <laughs> no, 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 I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying. No, take my dengi. Let me try it first. Here you go. Oh no. Uh, no, no. Okay, thank you, Chong Appa. That's Vidanya. Okay, the boys have got pickles. Not bad. I already killed mine. Man, this pickle was, no, it was so fast. good. That is so juicy and actually really yummy. Ten bloody sum for one pickle. What a bargain. What started as an innocent day exploring a new town has turned into, quite quickly, a pub crawl. So we are arriving at our third destination. The name is Sierra Coffee Caracol. Bratan, please, Hoshke Odinis, no problem. Chong Rahmat, thank you, Enim. One, two, what? He's over age. Matthew. 
Okay, Matty boy, cheers. Cheers. Jonathan, cheers. 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 Delicious, yum. Mm. You know what guys, it's been quite a long time since we had our ganfan and now it's time for some more delicious Kyrgyz food. We have come to this little street here and on this street you can find one particular cuisine of food. It's called Ashlan Tamak. Assalamu alaikum Oh baby! Oh mashallah! Congratulations! She's pregnant! Oh. Jonathan and Matt need to take a leak which is very normal when you're doing a bar crawl. So they are just trying to locate the nearest toilet and then after that we will be ordering some delicious food. As I'm waiting for Jonathan and Matthew to finish doing their business in the toilet, I've noticed this. It's a bathtub. It's quite an unusual place to have a bathtub, but I guess maybe during the summer it gets a little bit too hot and to cool down you can fill it up and jump in. Okay, Jonathan's going to give us some feedback about the toilet experience. How was it, Jonathan? Right, I should say that if you pay to use a toilet, that money's supposed to go towards <laughs> cleaning the toilet. Like, please, but no, no bad language, please. No. Sorry, it, the money's supposed to go towards <laughs> cleaning the toilet. Oh my, I give up. We want to eat the best. You know, the quality might differ between each restaurant, so we're going to walk down and we're probably going to base our decision on how, how many people are inside the restaurants. The more people, generally that means the better the food. And I just want to show you this really interesting contraption. And Matthew will explain what this is. Matthew? Oh, yeah, this is for, for climbing and grabbing the sign. Ah, so it's for a nice photo. I have absolutely, it looks like a punching bag. Assalamu alaikum Karin Dash. What the hell is that? So in the end, we have decided on this restaurant right here. The justification behind this decision is because of this sign. Salute AJ, Saranic, to this Ashland food. Yeah, Papa, three inims. Baiki, inim. Number two, number two. Damdu, yes. Ashbolson, Ashbolson. Hosh geldenis, hosh geldenis. Oh, chai, okay. Dungan food, Dungan food, okay. So this particular, only in Karakol, yeah. so it's unique, special, I mean, you can try it in but not, well. not as good. So as my new friend just told me, Baiki, this is traditional Dungan food, and in fact, you can only find this here in Karakol. Well, that's a lie. You can find it, for example, in Bishkek, but if you want the real experience, the authentic Dungan experience, you have to make the journey to Karakol. So with that being said, I'm very, very excited to try it, but we're going to have a quick zoom in on Jonathan and ask him how is it, Jonathan? It's um, it's very nice. It's Thank very you very nice. much. And we'll go with zoom I'm on saying, Matthew. Uh, Here we go. Vkusni. 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 Delicious. Okay. Bon appetit. So let's begin with the name of this particular dish. The name of this dish is Ashlan Fu. What took me by surprise when I had my first mouthful a moment ago is the fact that it is cold. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is completely cold. And then next, if my kind cameraman will kindly zoom in, I just want to show you what's hiding in this beautiful soup. There's different types of noodle. I'm not entirely sure how they prepared these, how they cooked them, but they are super delicious. So you've got the typical Lachman style noodle. And then you've got this noodle here, which is made out of starch. And on top, it's fried egg and it's super <laughs> delicious. So I'm going to have a big mouthful. But I do need to warn you guys, when you are eating this type of dish, you have to be extra careful if you're wearing a white jumper like I am, because what will happen, the noodle will drop, and you will get a little, a little splashback. And this can be quite problematic depending on what color your shirt is. I'm going to enjoy now, guys. See you at the next bar. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is, good. Guys, I need to pinch myself just to just to make sure this is real life. Guess how much this entire meal has cost us? 180 sum for all three of us. Guys, so guess what? I've made some new friends and they are teachers. Here we have English professor. Which one are you, AJ? Geography? Yes. Kogis, Kogis and Kogis. And you, AJ? Geography. Geography also, okay. They are very, very friendly. They are also eating some Ashland Tama. Ash Bolson, yes? One, two, three. Our next stop on today's adventure is a nice little place called Caracol Coffee. But the reason we are going here is not to drink coffee. The reason we're coming here is to drink 
People! Have you seen so much dengue? Wow! So we played a game of Uno. And who won? Matty, who oh, won? I won both. Yeah, Twice. Yeah. Two out of two. America has Thank destroyed you. Great Britain. Uh, oh, Not so great yeah, anymore. Yeah, this is why I love Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> My beer was 80 some. <laughs> There's so much money up here though. 10 pound? This is like... You know this is a lot of money, Siesta. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on here, guys. It's a giant dragon. That is awesome. It's the Loch Ness Monster. Salam alaikum, Karindash. Oh, спасибо, братан. Thank you. Give us a handshake. Братан, thank you. Chin chin. Cheers. So as you can see, guys, I changed my headwear. And the reason for that is very simple. Because now it's the evening. And here in Karakul, it gets a little bit chilly. So we've come to a local restaurant. We're carrying on the booze. We've all got our fresh pints. We've put our orders in for our evening meal. And I've gone for one of my favorites, Sumsa. I can feel the heat emanating off it. And then after this, for main course, I'm having one of my favorite, another favorite of mine, Lachma. Now we're gonna switch over to Mr. Jonathan to hear about the politics. <laughs> Jonathan, anything to say to the people? I'm going for Boso Lachman, which basically means fried Lachman. Okay guys, right now we are in quite a notorious bar here in Caraco. The name of the bar is Hollywood. It's, it's a bit of a shady bar, but it's the only place that is open right now. If anybody knows the famous YouTuber Peter Santanello, he actually came here a couple of years ago and he got kicked out. And you have to be extra careful here. In fact, I shouldn't be filming this right yeah. now. Right, me, Jonathan and Matthew, the, the as you can see. The, the oh, man. Congratulations, guys. You made it to the end of the video. I appreciate you for watching all of it. Before I end the video, I just want to say a big, big thank you to my first Patreon supporter called Beggy Mai. Hopefully, I pronounced your name correctly. Thank you so much for your support. And I will be sending you a postcard very soon. If you want to be kind and support me too, you can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. Okay guys, thank you again for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.